Good morning, guys. I was thinking the other day that one of the most challenging parts of uh, small engine repair or any kind of mechanical work is troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is challenging and rewarding. It's challenging because there are so many variables that can go wrong with an engine or a piece of mechanical equipment. And it's rewarding because once you figure out something, you always can add what you've learned to your store of knowledge, and that can always come in handy later on. One of the things that's important to check, obviously, in a small engine is proper spark. And there's several ways of doing that. One of the easiest and simplest ways is simply to remove the spark plug and ground it like this. Now the problem with this is sometimes it's hard to get a good ground so you won't get a reliable spark test. The other thing is if you do get a reliable ground and you've got the spark plug somewhere in the vicinity of the spark plug hole, if there are flammable vapors coming out of that spark plug hole when you crank it and the spark plug fires, you can have a real dangerous situation. There are a couple other ways that you can check for spark and I want to show them to you. I put the spark plug back in because it, it's these ways. These ways of testing is with a spark plug in the engine, which simulates the compression an engine would have. Let's see if you can see this. This is a uh, clip-on spark tester. It's a spark plug with an alligator clip, and you'll notice if you can see the center electrode is quite far from the shell. That's to simulate. Uh, firing under conditions where there is compression. So you know if it'll jump, if the spark will jump that gap, it will most likely jump the gap of a good plug inside the cylinder. Let me hook this up and show you. I'm going to turn this, turn this bulb off so you can see a little better. Okay, now you should see a spark. So you can see that that ignition system is working pretty well. The other way is with an inline, this is a, uh, inline spark test, let me get a better view of that. There it is. This has a uh, this connects to the spark plug lead. This end connects to the uh, to spark plug itself. I'll hook that up. Focus the camera a little better. Now when I crank the engine and the ignition fires, that should glow a little bit. Now a couple things I should point out. This engine has no fuel in it, so it's not gonna it would I knew it wasn't gonna run. If you're working on an actual engine with fuel, 
you can always hook this up and you can run the engine you can check the ignition while the engine is running because the ignition is going to work through the spark plug lead through this uh, neon bulb and then into the into the plug so you can actually check the ignition while an engine is running if the engine is missing you should see an interruption in this light and that would tend to lead to an ignition problem under running conditions if it misses and this light is still uh, steady then it might be a fuel problem okay guys thanks for watching